Thursday Tip Talk, and today we're going to talk about books. I know it's not Monday. They're not book talks. They're not. But we do want you to know that we've been ordering books and it's some good stuff, and we need you to know that even if we don't read it and book talk it, you need to read it. It's good. So, some nonfiction. A Woman in the House and in the Senate. It is presented very much like a scrapbook style book, so it's not crazy heavy on words, and there's lots of great art and pictures. Miss Wheatley has been working very hard on uh, replacing some old stuff in this mm -hmm. section of our library, so this is some of the new stuff. 300s, by the way. There you go. Oh, look, an announcement. Teacher, please for this interruption. They are having a problem with the internet service connection at Central Office. Power School is unavailable, and First Class is unavailable. I need for Roberto Torres to go to the main office, please. Thank you. So that means there'll be more of those, FYI, because that's what happens when we can't get on to see where kids are. Mm -hmm. These are graphic novels about the March Civil Rights Movement. It's yes. John Lewis. It's good stuff. So we have mm -hmm. books two and three now. We already have book one. So if you're interested in that, you can come look at that. This is a book about a girl who comes home from school one day and her family's been deported. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you even imagine? Yeah. And she's now a famous actress. She's in uh, oh. Orange is the New Black. So. Another book on mythology. Norse mythology this time, which we didn't really have anything on. So if you wanted this and you're interested, it's Neil racing. Gaiman. It's Neil Gaiman, so you know it's, it's going to be good. good stuff. So advice for difficult times. Like sometimes you feel like you struggle in a vacuum, but it's probably not true. Other people are also struggling, and then they write books about it. Mm -hmm. So that's an option. Can you can if okay. you want to talk for a minute. Um, this one is translated from the French. It was on a list that I read about. Um, Books about experiences being Muslim. It's about two sisters in a family. One of them is becoming more religious, the other one less so. But at the beginning of the book, it goes ahead and tells you that the sister that was becoming less religious has been killed. We don't, I don't know how, um, because I haven't read this book yet, but I'm going to. And if you're interested, you should also read it. It's also very short, um, so very accessible. Um, Real quickly, I'll just point these out. I mentioned this book, or I talked about this book. Um, I listened to this one on audio. This is Nonfiction by Jazz Jennings. And here are two fiction um, titles about people finding their authentic selves. So if you're interested in that, then you can check those out. Um, this one I've not read yet either, but it's by Julie Murphy, who wrote Dumplin', who, which I did enjoy. This is about a girl who is diagnosed with leukemia. So she makes a bucket list, you know, of all the stuff I'm going to do before I die. Um, a lot of settling scores and doing stuff that, you know, with, with the expectation of no consequences. And then she goes into remission. So it's like, oh, mm -hmm, all this stuff. Has, <laughs> sorry about that. Ha, 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 ha. Um, <laughs> so it should be funny and, you know, emotional as well. So... This is a book about uh, the trial in Tennessee, uh, the Scopes trial, and the debate over uh, religion and science mm -hmm. and evolution and whatnot. So we did, we had something, and there's stuff yeah. out there, but this is a newer one. The newer books that come out are slightly less biased. I'm not going to say they're perfect, but they have a, a more, right. A better spectrum. Right, and rather than just being straight up reporting this is what happened at this event um, and also filtered through the lens of the present time, these are told in modern language, yes. um, interpreted through modern viewpoints, and also as we get away from an event, sometimes our our opinions and our thoughts about it change. And we can so. see how it's impacted us now. Right. Like yeah. when they happened it, it was just a, a story in the news. Mm. Now we see how that has changed how we do things. Right. And so how we're really still dealing with some of the same stuff today. Yes. So, so this is the Teapot Dome scandal, how big oil bought the Harding White House. So another one of those, this is what happened then and this is how it's filtered forward and affects us today. Oil and politics. Oh. Right. Imagine. Like you've never heard that no. before. This is a book about uh, first families, sort of behind the scenes, so there is some stuff. It's not political. It's just how they lived and how the White House worked and how people in the White House worked for them and what that looked like. And there's a lot of pictures in the middle, mm -hmm. good stuff with great descriptions. So it's just if you're interested in the White House as a residence, yeah. as a house that our people actually live in. Yes. So then... Rocket Girls. I don't know if you, I know you've heard of Hidden Figures, maybe you've read it through the movie. This is about more of the female, what they call computers, because mm -hmm. they computed numbers, so they were called computers. This is all the, a certain lab of them who did things, 
who are maybe not specifically African American, but were very female and very underappreciated because of it in their time. At NASA. Yeah, I know. And then basketball books. Uh, yes. Female basketball players who make good and, and tell about how it worked for them and the realities of playing ball and living a life and how that worked out. A woman in sports. Yes. Um, I'm going to quickly throw these in front of your face. Yes. These are all sequels mm -hmm. to books we already have. Yes. So if you've read any of the Field Party books, that's what that's called, mm -hmm. right? Field Party. Um, Michael Vey. Um, Blood for Blood is the sequel to Wolf by Wolf. It's an alternate history about, like, what if the Nazis had won. Um, and then Black Widow. This is novelization of, you know, the character Black Widow. Um, <laughs> And King's Cage is related to the Red Queen, or it's the third book in the Red Queen series. So oh, if you nice. read that and you like the other two, then you probably want to see what happens at the end. Mm -hmm. um, I've already got a request for that one. Um, these two were requested, and they go together. Um, they are about basically characters, the interaction between characters and readers. Okay, and I'll, I'll leave it with that. So, nice. So maybe some people come out of the book or something. Well, she's a great author too. She writes adult uh, fiction and romance, and I've enjoyed her. And these two seem to be primarily escapist fantasy. They're beautiful. Um, this one has something to do with uh, princesses and violence, <laughs> um, swords. I mean, that's a good swords and flowers. Life. This book is about swords and flowers. Um, probably not, but I'll read it. I'm sure. And this one, uh, Caraval. Um, the cover is lovely. I, we don't do a lot of judging books by the cover, so we kind of do, but yeah. Um, this one's pretty, and it looks like it's about two sisters, and one of them wants to go to this Caraval magical performance thing where the audience participates, and then she gets kidnapped, and so there's intrigue and love and betrayal and magic and, and this interesting-looking little, like, sort of... Um, Intention. Fair? It's not a fair. I don't know what it is yet. I'll read it. We'll tell talk you. About it later. It'll this happen. Is, this is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Um, I that have happens. not read it, but it's on several lists, so I will read it, and then I'll tell you more about it later. And this one's horror. horror. I mean, this come on. Good. It says, I am where dead children go. So if you like creepy stuff, <laughs> it looks creepy. It looks super creepy. Yeah, it's supposed to be creepy. It does. Are you still going on Amazon? We're still going. There oh, are yeah. more. There, we ordered a lot of books. Yes, that's true. Um, here are two things that I've ordered to try to boost our um, Black History selections. Um, Life and Pictures, Muhammad Ali. This is a book about the Harlem Renaissance. It, it kind of looks like it'd be a picture book, but it's not really. Um, it's a nonfiction book. It's a scrapbook style It books. is. Yeah, it's... it's broken up a little bit so it's if you don't like huge giant blocks of continuous text then you might want to check out something like this um we have a black history month display also with mm -hmm. lots more stuff and there's lots more things that's just what we grabbed today um, and then lastly I these seem these are completely two unrelated things but this one is about issues inside the juvenile justice system so if you're interested in um how that works and problems with it, then you can read this book. It's called Burning Down the House. And then this one, totally random, um, sneakers. So I you, I cannot count the number of people that I have seen browsing pictures of shoes on oh, the computer. Oh, yeah, all the time. Making pictures, custom of shoes, looking at shoes, talking about shoes. <laughs> Obviously some people serious. like shoes, so hey, here's a book about shoes um, and different, you know, collectible shoes and stuff. So if shoes. you're super into shoes, we have the book for you. There's a book about shoes. So, I mean, we're trying here. <laughs> you cannot deny that. We are trying to give you what you want. Right. Um, and I'll just talk about this last one. I am almost done with this. I mean, look how close, like literally right there. I've got like five or six pages left in this book. Um, I have a teacher who's requested this, so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to her when I get done reading it. But very powerful story. Um, really enjoyed it. It's kind of painful, um, but still life with Tornado by A.S. King. I like all her stuff, so I'm kind of biased. But anyway, I think we talked about all the things. Didn't well, we? we talked about a whole lot of things, this really. And that's books. not all. Um, just <laughs> come in and you can see what we still have. So. 1999. No. <laughs> free. No, <laughs> free. As long as you bring it back on time, you're free. That's right. So anyway, that's all we got, and we'll um, talk about some more books in depth on Monday. Yes, so, we will. See you later.